so you still don't know how to color pathetic who said that who said that don't worry i'll teach you teach your pathetic little app who said that who said that that am i a professional artist absolutely not do i at least know color theory but i do believe in the art of simplifying and balling before i was blindly balling now i ball with tears of frustration heart pulling and two percentage of knowledge so basically there are very few things that i consider while drawing like contrast contrast is very important so what is contrast i don't know google it but let's take a look at this drawing do you find anything wrong with it you better not because there's nothing wrong with it now let's take a look at this one hmm? huh do you see any difference you don't get out the left one is nice to look at it has good harmony but the one on the right it has high contrast which makes it pop high contrast images are just easy to read so your eyes naturally goes there so how do you create a proper contrast in your art if you ask miss color theory that which will say it involves you value saturation gray scale iron band textures visual interest color impact focal point temperature color scratch that all you need to create a good contrast is a good combo between light and dark values let's say you're designing a black shirt if you add designs that are also of dark value you're dumb but adding brighter values to a black shirt makes it pop creating a good contrast it's a very simple concept but in art it's more than just that it can be used to give attention to a particular area or distribute it equally but at the end of the day it's as simple as a good blend between dark and light values that's it and that is all the things i consider while drawing what you expected more let's move on to why you're actually here the three color method when i say to color with three colors i mean allotting three colors to each element mm, let's say i'm drawing an egg the yolk is gonna have three colors and the egg white is gonna have three colors if i'm drawing shrek what a fox he will also have three colors for his skin three colors for his clothes so what are these colors exactly to be precise i have two categories under this method the first category involves a base color shadow and a light the second category involves a base color a shadow and a complementary color i will yap about the second category later a base a shadow and a light is quite enough for you to create a good art of course you can add extra stuff like ambient light coarse shadow highlight all that stuff later but you can't even properly draw with just two colors so why are we adding more you need to know how to color within these three colors first because these three are the basic level but also the pro level in past i used to add all these various colors only to create a joke so i lessened my colors and concentrated on the basic like a very simple base color and where the light is hitting and where the shadow should go that's all once you have mastered coloring within these three colors you will have no issue adding more colors to your work now you can be like your art style is very simple that's why three colors is just enough for you no uh even if you're trying to learn realism these three colors is what you need to study or if you're trying to learn a complicated anime style it will once again have these three colors if you are a pencil artist wrong channel buddy wrong channel let's get into the coloring process of category 1 I will start by coloring the base. The second step is to add the shadows. I will just pick the shadow by going down vertically on the wheel. Nothing new really. To the point it's boring actually. Yeah. By the way, I don't use blending modes for my illustration. I like suffering, so I choose them myself. going up vertically on the wheel for the light basically i'm going to repeat the same process for hair and clothing
and we are done away, 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 away. only three colors for each element again of course you can add more colors if you want and some of you might say this is very boring and colorless but what if i told you you can create something colorful with just three colors this is where the category two comes in if you have miserably failed category one don't worry there's hope for you in category two just kidding the category two involves the base color shadow and then we pick a color that complements the first two colors now what is complementary color don't google it it's not worth it in color theory complementary colors are opposite in the color wheel then what is the complementary color for black white but i think blue and red complements black more so we just lying now a lot of these rules are useless you know what is not useless your eyes hopefully use your eyes and see what complements your base and shadow this thing it's unlimited okay you can use it as much as you want you won't run out of colors god you are so traumatized for being a past traditional artist let's finally go over the coloring process of category 2 i will start with the base oh hell no I think I chose a little harsh color for the shadow. I will lighten it later. As a complementary color I'm choosing purple. The skin color is warm tone. But I think a cool tone complementary will work as long as as long as I also make the clothing cool toned. Moving on to the hair, same thing. Just same thing. One thing about how I apply complementary colors, it's random as hell. It can be a blush, a highlight, it can be eye shadow. or just random strokes it doesn't matter where it goes don't come at me for switching from screen record to csp climb labs if i recorded one more minute in that laptop it would have exploded okay All right, we are done. And that's how you color with just three colors. Look, I'm not good with explaining. Nor are you at listening. So, bye bye. Y'all, we hit two K. Stop it. Y'all are so nice to me. Thank you so much for the support. I will do my best to put out better content. So, keep watching my channel.